Tonight, a closer look at internet challenges. They go viral pretty quickly, but they can also be dangerous. News it's Megan Frank spoke with a child psychologist about how to talk to your children about what they see on the internet. 7,203,030 views. I mean, almost 30,000 likes. It's frightening. Millions of people watch YouTube videos like this every day. But the cinnamon challenge causes those who attempt it to choke. Some are rushed to the hospital, and at least one person, a four-year-old Kentucky boy, died. And it doesn't stop there. Doctors say the Kylie Jenner challenge can damage blood vessels in your lips. Don't do the Kylie Jenner. What's your goal here? Psychologist Dr. Trish Young says kids are more likely to try these dangerous trends. When it comes to decision making, adolescents, a lot of times we say, well, they don't necessarily know the risks or think of the risks. And they, they can and they do, but the reward or what they perceive is going to be the reward is often more powerful. Because kids like to test their boundaries, something as innocent as a fidget spinner can take a dark turn. Ah! In these YouTube videos, kids glue razor blades to the popular toy, even matches. Oh yeah. Dr. Young says preventing this kind of behavior starts with a conversation. Talking with your child, it makes a lot of sense and, and helping them figure out what's driving me in, in doing this and how can I get some of the, the same experience that I'm looking for without the risk, without the danger. Is there a way that this can be about connecting to a healthier group of people? She says in a digital world, you can't shield your kids from the internet. So try to direct them to safer challenges, even ones for a good cause. Let's do it. Megan Frank. <laughs> News 8. And the counselor Megan spoke to says to look for positive challenges that you can try as a family, including the mannequin challenge. Now.